This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So we will be given a list of integers as input. So it may be either in horizontal direction or it can be in vertical direction. In this case we are given the list of integers horizontally as input. So now what we have to do is first our task is to reverse the list of integers and since here we have given the input horizontally we have to print our output vertically. So here the input list is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So after reversing it will become 50, 40, 30, 20 and 10. And here just because the input is given horizontally we should print our output vertically. So in our output we can see that we are printing the reverse the list vertically. So first you are printing 50, 40 everything new line. Similarly let us see our sample input 2. So here also we are given a list of integers. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So we are given the input vertically. So now what we have to do is again first we have to reverse the list of integers and here just because we are given the input vertically we have to print our output horizontally. So in our output we can see that we are printing the reversed list in a single line itself. So we are printing our output horizontally. So this is how we should be printing the output as per the given input. So if our input is received horizontally then we should print our output vertically. If our input is received vertically then we should print our output horizontally. So this is the logic. Now let us see how to write a C program for this. So in this program we will be making use of the strtok function. So to use that we have to include string.h. So first I am including the string.h header file. And then in the main function I am creating an integer array named arr of size 1001. And then I am creating a character array named str which can store up to 10,000 characters in it. And then I am creating two integer variables named len and flag. And I am initially setting both of them to 0. So we will be using this flag variable to determine whether our input is being received horizontally or vertically. And we will be using this len variable for indexing the integer array arr. And now what we are going to do is we are going to accept each and every line of input as a string. And after accepting it as a string, we will be iterating through every space separated string using the strtok function. So that we will be able to determine whether our input is given horizontally or vertically. So we don't know how many lines of input will be given. So here I am using a while loop and I am putting the scan of statement within the while loop. So what happens is whenever an input is received we are going to proceed. If input is not received then this while loop will be stopping because scanf is also a function if an input is received then it returns 1 else it returns 0 so whenever it is going to return 1 we are going to keep on accepting the next line at one point it will definitely return 0 and the while loop will be stopping to work so this is the syntax for accepting a space separated input so within the square brackets we should give power and then slash n so that we will be accepting the complete line of space separated string as input and after accepting the complete line we should move to the next line so that is the reason i am giving another slash n at the end so now we have accepted the complete line of input and stored it into the character array str so now we are going to split that input based upon spaces so to perform that we will be making use of the strtok function so i am calling the function strtok and in the arguments i am passing the character array str and it should be splitted based upon space. So in the second argument I am giving space. So this will return a pointer and I am storing those pointer into a character pointer named token. So now we have to iterate until the token becomes null. So that we will be able to iterate through every space separated string. So here I am creating that while loop and we can see that we will be iterating until the token becomes null. And in every iteration we should be setting token is equal to strtok of null comma space. So this is the syntax for using strtok function. Here within the strtok in the first argument we are giving null because we have already given the reference as str. So if again we are going to give the reference as str then again it will return only the first space separated string. So in order to avoid that that is the reason why we are giving the first argument as null in the strtok function. And I am creating another integer variable named cnt and I am setting it to 0. So we will be incrementing this cnt in every iteration of this while loop. So what happens is if our input is given in vertical 
then each and every line will contain only one integer so after the execution of while loop the value of c and t should be equal to 1 but at the same time if our input is given horizontally then the value of c and t will definitely be greater than 1 so that is how we are going to determine whether our input is given horizontally or vertically so how many times this loop is going to iterate we are going to count it using the c and t variable so finally after the execution of the while loop if c and t is greater than 1 then it is sure that there are multiple space separated strings which is nothing but the list of integers is given horizontally as input so whenever c and t is greater than 1 we are going to set flag is equal to 1 so if flag is equal to 1 means it is just for our reference that our input is received horizontally and also in every iteration of this inner while loop the token is nothing but the space separated string so we have to convert this token into an integer and store it into the integer array arr so in the 16th line we have to implement a condition such a way that arr at the index len plus plus is equal to a tie of the token so finally after the execution of this while loop we would have our list of integers and if flag is equal to 1 it means that we have received our input horizontally and if flag is equal to 0 then it means our input is received vertically so using that now we have to print the output so it is given in the question that we have to print the list of integers in reverse order so instead of reversing the array we can just iterate from the end so here we can create a loop that iterates from len minus 1 till 0 and in every iteration we have to print the integers present in the array arr and after printing each and every integer there are two possible ways of printing we can either print it horizontally or vertically so after printing each and every integer we have to check whether the flag is equal to 1 or not if flag is equal to 1 then it means our input is received horizontally but our output should be opposite we should be printing vertically so after printing each and every integer we have to check whether flag is equal to 1 if flag is equal to 1 then we will be printing a new line so that we will be able to print our output vertically else we will print a space so this is how we can print the output in the required format thank you for watching